so today what's happening is I'm here at Aldi. I don't know if you can see that back there, but I'm going to do my great big once a month grocery haul. And this is going to be all the food for the meals that we're going to be eating in June. So this is going to be just a little bit different style of video. Typically I split these all up, but today I'm going to give you a quick peek at the meal plan. Then we're going to go shopping and then I'm going to head home and film the grocery haul for you. So if that's the kind of thing that interests you, definitely stick around. So I did put together just like a little spreadsheet style meal plan this time. It worked so well last month doing uh, planning out 28 meals at at once that I thought I definitely wanted to do it again. And so this month my themes for the week are we have pizza, beef, venison, chicken, soup, fish, and burgers. And yes, I know it's going to be June here. We're still going to do soup. Um, that seemed a little bit odd to Amber, but I said, you know what, just just stick with it. It'll be good. We're going to be doing taco soup and chicken soup every every other week through June. So here's what I did. I have a theme, and I know I explained this to you guys last month, and I just have to say it worked so well. I just pick a theme for each day of the week, and then I pick about two different meals. So you can see if I zoom in here for, for Sundays is going to be pizza night. So we do frozen pizza twice. And then we're going to do homemade pizza once and then pizza burgers once. And it works out really well to keep the meals very, very simple. Mondays, let's look at that. We're going to be doing beef. So two weeks, we're going to do meatloaf. This is going to be a standard meatloaf. And the third week will be mini meatloaves. And then I have beef round steak in the freezer. I think I'll probably make that into like a Swiss steak style uh, dinner in the crock pot. And then I have Tuesday here is going to be our venison day. So you can see we're going to be having bacon wrapped um, mini roasts and then we'll be doing crock pot roasts. So this day is just going to be just your traditional crock pot roast with vegetables. And then the last uh, Tuesday we'll be doing more of like a, a shredded Italian venison. So I shred that up and people can serve it up on buns or you can just serve it like with onions or really, w however, whatever you like. And let's take a peek over here at Wednesday. We're going to be doing, that's our chicken day. So we're going to be doing grilled chicken salads two times in the month. And I'll vary those up from sesame grilled chicken to just uh, probably more of like a, just a basic seasoned <laughs> grilled chicken here. And then we're going to be having a chicken tater tot crock pot dish. This is something, a recipe that I got from a friend probably three years or so ago. I have yet to make it. It's been on my list. It's happening this month. Thursdays is going to be our soup day, so we're going to do taco soup twice, chicken noodle soup twice. We'll do fish on Fridays, so we'll do a variety of fried tilapia, fish tacos, uh, fish sticks, that kind of thing. Saturday is our burger day, which isn't just burgers. We vary it up between burgers and brats and hot dogs. So you can see we'll do um, slaw burgers one Saturday. We'll do bacon cheeseburgers, and then we'll have a couple brat hot dog days. So really, really s simple meals. I did down here have, um, I just write on some meal add-ons since I can't fit every little thing up in the squares here, uh, things that we add to meals would be things like black olives, pickles, applesauce, bread and butter often I'll be adding to meals. Maybe it should be in the sunlight here. I am in my car and so it gets a little tricky here. Um, uh, cottage cheese I could put on that list. So those are just kind of some of those quick things that I just add on for on days when I know that maybe the little kids won't quite like what we're having. At least they can fill up on black olives and bread and butter or something. Okay, I also wrote in a few extra lunch ideas. So sausage sandwiches still. We never did have any of those this last month. Homemade mac and cheese, uh, quesadillas, peanut butter and jelly. So I just make sure I have those things on hand too. So let's go in, do some grocery shopping. I realize that this is the first truly warm day that I've grocery shopped in all of 2019. And I forgot to bring a cooler. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do two kind of like transactions at Aldi because I know I'm not going to fit all of these groceries into one cart just like I had to do last month, two transactions. So I'm going to get all of like the non-perishables first, come out, load all that in, go back for all the cold stuff. I'll pack all my cold stuff together and then I'll kind of pile on some more insulating kinds of foods. Like I might put the bags of chips or I'll put... Um, what else will I put? I'll put the bread and things like that on top to try to keep it insulated. I'm going to run down the road to Walmart. 
there's only going to be a few items I have to get there. So I'm going to zip in and then zip out and we're going to burn home. So that's the plan. So just like last month, I have made out a very, very, very detailed grocery list down to just every little thing that we need. And I'm planning that this is gonna come in at about $447. Let's keep shopping. Alrighty, so I'm out with load number one here. This is all the non-perishables and this came in at 200. <clears throat> Excuse me. Popple Fuzz is flying around crazy lately. So that came in at $200.85. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to load everything into these laundry baskets. I have a couple boxes here and then I'm going to head in for round two. Round two is done, and that one came in at exactly $224. So here's the thing. Total, that only came out to be 400 and what did I just say? That would have been, because the first one was just under was just a few cents over 200 so 424 dollars total but i forgot that in my grocery envelope maybe you saw the instagram post from amber mom she was like frantic about could you pick me up some vegetables and protein wraps and whatever so i forgot that i had ran into the grocery store to do that and so i'd forgotten that I had a little bit of money taken out of my envelope. So anyway, I have just a very, very few items that I would need to get at Walmart, but I am on my way home because I have $2 left in my grocery envelope. None of the Walmart items are absolute pressing for like the next couple days. So when I go back home, because I still have money that I set aside at home, um, you know, just so that I can make sure that for the rest of the month, uh, when we have to come back and get more fruits and veggies, and we have to come back and get more milk, things like that, that I have the money set aside. So I'm heading home, we're gonna do the haul, and it's gonna be a fun one this time. I'm back from the grocery store, I got everything laid out here. Joseph and Maria were helping me get everything laid out. Joe, do you wanna come say hi? You look like yeah. you want to. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Maria saying hello. Okay, you guys go play now. So in an effort to keep these grocery hauls uh, kind of fresh, you know, just because I feel like I just do the same exact thing all the time. I line up the meats, I line up the cheese, I line up, line up, line up, and then we go through it all. I'm, gonna, I'm Yes, you take a grape. Now go. You <laughs> mm. like mm. chicken. Yes, you think it tastes like chicken? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll see you later. Right, so like I said, in order to keep these kind of fresh and exciting for both you and for me, this time I'm laying everything out according to our meals. So, or according to the days of the week, actually. So I laid everything out according to Sunday pizza night. So for the first two weeks, we're going to be having salad. So there's the lettuce that'll go with that. Here are the six pizzas for the first and the third Sunday night. Here are all of the English muffins that will go for the um, pizza burgers. I did get four of the English muffins. I think we're only going to need three of them though and so there will be an extra if somebody wants to make like egg sandwiches or something for breakfast. Here's the sausage that I bought this time for the homemade pizza. I also bought some pepperoni. Uh, here is the tomato so uh, soup for the pizza burgers and here's the cheese that is going to be used for pizza burgers and for the homemade um, pizza on the night that we do that. Moving on to Monday, which is beef, we're going to be doing a couple meals of meatloaves and uh, we're doing mashed potatoes and half potatoes and then we're just going to be having that with like frozen vegetables a couple times and salad and things like that. So here we go. Here's for, you know, I have a lot of these ingredients already. I already have the beef at home. Um, so we have the cream cheese for making the mashed potatoes, butter for mashed potatoes, green beans for the one night we're going to do that, broccoli, frozen broccoli for the night we'll do that, uh, here's some salad to throw in on the night, nope that's for the third week so I'll buy fresh salad for that time. So I didn't need a whole lot for the Monday meals. 
Then we move on to Tuesday, and that is my venison night. And so we're having bacon-wrapped mini roasts. All I had to get for those, for those two meals is a pack of bacon for each time. I did pick up rice because I was, I think I was getting fairly low on rice. And then we'll also be having two meals of, <clears throat> of venison roast in the crock pot. So one of those meals is Italian venison sandwiches, which I have everything for that already. And the other one is just a venison roast with vegetables. And so I do have like carrots. I have potatoes already. I bought extra onions over in my onion pile, uh, over in my veggie pile. So that is really easy for the Tuesday meals. Wednesday, we're going to be doing grilled chicken salads and the tater tot chicken hot dish. And so, whoops. Oh, and the last week of the venison meals, I am going to be making cranberry fluff salad, and so I did get the whipped, the whipped topping already, and I got the crushed pineapple and the mini marshmallows for that already. I'll just pack that stuff away, and it'll be there when I need it. So moving on to Wednesday, we're doing two meals of grilled chicken salads and then two meals of the chicken tater tot um, crock pot hot dish and so here is the chicken and I already I actually have an extra from last month because I overbought the chicken last month so this one pack which is six pounds we this will feed us for two of the grilled chicken meals I'll just slice those in half so they're thinner and then I have the pork and beans that are going to go with that meal and then we'll also throw in throw in some fresh fruit the chicken tater tot crock pot hot dish. I need chicken, of course, which like I said, I, are, I already have in the freezer. Um, I need shredded cheese for that. I need the tater tots and then the bacon bits. So that is already, we are going to have mixed vegetables one of those nights. Um, and then we're, I'm also going to be making a broccoli cranberry salad. So I did not buy the broccoli yet because that's for later in the month. But I did already get the cranberries and I did already get the sharp cheddar cheese to go with that salad. Again, I'll just pop this in the freezer and it'll be there when I need it. I realize I forgot to show you guys the grape juice. That goes into the marinade for the sesame grilled chicken. Moving on to our soup night. Yes, soup night in the summer. We're going to be having taco soup twice and chicken noodle soup twice. Here is everything for the taco soup. Uh, again, last month I overbought on the tomato juice, so I'll just use that as my tomato base for taco soup. Here's all the corn down in there. There's all the chili beans. Here's all the chips for two meals. I have an extra sour cream still from last month, so there's sour cream. And I already have the meat, so that will that's an easy and inexpensive meal there too. And then here's the chicken that I'm going to be cook, cooking up. That is 4.68 pounds of chicken leg quarters. I will cook that up. I just bring it to a boil and then simmer for 20 minutes or so. Pull all the meat off the bone and that's what's going to make the chicken noodle soup. That will also make me some stock. I will use that. Then if I need to supplement, I did buy a couple things of chicken broth. The vegetables I keep very simple. I use carrots and celery. I have carrots over here that are going in the roast. I won't use all of those. So some of those will be for the chicken noodle soup. Here's the noodles for the chicken noodle soup. Okay, moving on to Friday. Oh, and then also, sorry, then also for the Thursday meals, the soup meals, here's the box of crackers to go with the chicken noodle. And then I also got jello for making jello squares. So last time I was asked how I do this, and this is just what I do for making the jello squares. I follow exactly what's on the box here. So very, very easy to do. Recipes right on the box. So on the nights we have chicken noodle soup, we're also going to have jello squares. Okay, moving on to Friday fish. We're going to be having some fried tilapia, which again I overbought last month. We'll be doing fish sticks and baked potatoes and veggies and fish tacos and all kinds of things. So... That, I think, actually is all over here. So here's everything I needed to buy for that. Rather than, um, I, I was going to do french fries, but I saw that Aldi had these waffle fries. I thought that the kids from Warren, too, would really like those. Um, here are the fish sticks and the fish fillets. Here are for the two times that we'll be having frozen vegetables. 
We'll also be doing some things with potatoes that I already have in the pantry. Saturday is our burgers, brats, hot dogs night. If you watched last month's haul, you know that I got a screaming deal on hot dogs. I still have plenty of those left, so I did not need to buy for this month. But I did need to get roasted Brussels sprouts and pork and beans and brats and the pre-cooked bacon for the bacon cheeseburgers and things like that. So here's everything for that. There's the pre-cooked bacon. I got uh, two of those. You never know who all is going to end up being around, so I like to have enough. Cheese. Some of this cheese will be used for breakfasts or for sandwiches also. It's not just for the cheeseburgers. The one night where I'm going to be making some roasted Brussels sprouts. Here's all the hamburger buns, all the hot dog buns. Also for the Saturday night meals, here are the pork and beans for one of the meals. Here's the green beans for one of the meals. There are the two packs of brats for the two times we're doing brats. One of the nights I'm going to make roasted cauliflower. There it is. I'm also going to be making a pasta salad one time. So I got the noodles. I already have the Italian dressing mix in the pantry. And when I do make the pasta salad, I will just use whatever vegetables I happen to have, whether it's carrots or leftover bits of this and that. I'll just use any veggies that I have on hand. So now I'm just going to go through the rest of the grocery haul with you here. It's going to be breakfast foods, snack items, as well as things that I just needed to replace in the pantry. All right, so first up here, I did get two creamers, French vanilla and chocolate caramel for the month. Last month, I think I only did 10 dozen eggs, and that just did not get us far enough. And so this time I got 12 dozen eggs. Here are five pounds of butter. I did, you see, I do have a sixth pound over there I set aside specifically for making a huge batch of mashed potatoes. We still had two loaves of bread in the freezer, so I filled up with six loaves, variety of bread. I got Italian and 12 grain and the whole wheat white. What is that? Oat bran. For breakfast here, I did get two things of bagels, a plain bagel as well as an everything bagel. Those will get eaten up pretty quick, but that's what they're there for. I did stock up on some veggies here, some grapes, those will eat up in the next day or so. Same with the bananas. I got three bunches. We'll eat those up in just a couple days. Then the apples and the cuties will last longer. The cantaloupe isn't quite ripe yet, so that'll ripen over the next three or four days, and then we'll cut into that. Also in the fruit category, since we're out of our homemade applesauce, I did pick up three 46-ounce containers of the unsweetened applesauce from Aldi. And I also did get one, two, three, four packs of sweetened dried cranberries, and those two can just be used as a snack, or as you guys know, on top of cereal. Here is the pile of vegetables. So, mm, excuse me, I got some tomatoes. I was thinking possibly of making some pico de gallo or some guacamole again. Picked up some of these mini cucumbers. These have been just a, a favorite favorite, and they were a buck ninety nine today, which is a good price. Two of the English cucumbers, uh, two pound. This is my second uh, two pound pack of carrots. Then I also got some more green pepper, some more onions, four Haas avocados, some zucchini to dice up in eggs in the morning. We also were just simply out of coconut oil, so we got another one of those. Black olives to throw onto meals, like maybe we'll use one of these when we make homemade pizza, or we might just open up a can for lunch or something like that. Here, again, just some more extras. I got Amber some tuna. She was asking for some of that, and she actually said that this tuna is much better than the great value tuna that she had bought at Walmart. So she said she liked the Aldi tuna better. I'm not a tuna aficionado, so I would have no idea which one's better, but that's just according to her. Two things of salsa for when she makes like avocado toast or for people, you know, just that want to have chips and salsa as a, as a snack. Some of this um, salsa con queso for, again, for a snack. I did get three bags of chips here to throw on to lunches. So potato chips. As you can imagine, we open up a bag of chips and they're gone in just about a minute <laughs> by the time everyone throws some on their plate. I needed some more mayo. We were completely out of almond butter. I did pick up some animal crackers and then some nuts for snack snacking. Dry roasted peanuts. Wait, what are these? Oh, the honey roasted, the cocoa almonds, 
and then some salted cashews. Here are a few things for baking. I got a couple packs of marshmallows to make some Rice Krispie treats. Again, that just sometimes seems like such a nice summer treat because it doesn't heat up the house. Um, another bag of sugar, some chocolate chips, brown sugar to add to my canister, and then pecans and walnuts because I used them all up this month making rhubarb nut bread. An extra bag of mozzarella cheese. This will either be used on the homemade pizza or in like pizza quesadillas for lunch. Some lunch meat, again, just to have on hand. Sometimes we'll eat a slice with our eggs in the morning for breakfast, or the kids will make a wrap sandwich, especially if I'm not around. Picked up a couple bottles of ranch, container of barbecue sauce, and a bottle of ketchup. Aldi is now carrying the large container of crunchy peanut butter, so I went with that this month. We'll see what the kids think of that. Some cheese curds for snacking on. What's back there? And another thing of bacon bits, I feel like I needed this for something. Oh, I know. This is for the broccoli cranberry salad that'll be at the end of the month. Cottage cheese to add on to lunches when we need a little extra something. Two things of orange juice concentrate. Peter was asking to make more rhubarb punch slush, and so I got that. Aldi did not have lemonade concentrate, so I actually, this time, I'm just going to use plain old lemon juice, squeeze it in there, and call it good. I do have some breakfast items over here. Four boxes of graham crackers uh, for, ob obviously, the kids love to dunk those in milk for breakfast. Did get some cereal, two things of Rice Krispies, a box of the frosted shredded wheat, and then some crunchy Raisin Bran. Three boxes of sausage links for breakfast, and then also this was a request. The kids said, you have not bought those in a long, long time, Mom. And I said, no, I haven't, but wow. These are like almost $4. I think they were $3.89 or $3.99 for a box of these. Um, a nice convenient breakfast item, but boy, they are kind of pricey. So anyway, the kids are going to be happy about that. So all in all, this grocery haul came to a total of $424. And this is going to last a long time. There's a lot of food in here. Um, I did actually have a number of odd things left over from last month, like one pack of chicken, uh, one bag of potatoes. So that really is helping out to uh, help this to last a long time too. I still have $200 in my grocery envelope and I won't probably dig that out for another two and a half weeks or so. And then we'll go back and stock up on more fruits and more vegetables, things like that. I forgot to tell you that I did get six gallons of milk as well those we put straight into the refrigerator. And since it is a warm day, I need to get all this put away. If you like the video, you like this style of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And head on over to the community tab. That's where we'll chat all things food. Thanks a lot for always being here with me and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.